In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make this vintage style t-shirt graphic in Photoshop. I'm going to be using my Retro Tone Vintage Action Pack, which is a collection of Photoshop actions that I made specifically to mimic the look of vintage band and wrap tees from the 90s. It automatically gives your images this vintage texture and color with just a couple clicks. You could download Retro Tone along with a bunch of other tools and assets from my store. I've added the link to the description. So to get started, we're going to open up a new Photoshop document. We want to make that 15 by 20 inches at 300 dpi. And that's important because a lot of the retro tone presets uh, take our canvas size into account. So if we want the textures and things to be scaled properly, we want it to be around this size. So the first thing you want to do is import your image. I'm going to be using this big face image of Rodman that I have. Next, you want to open your Actions panel. You can just go to Window and then click Actions. And then you want to import your Retro Tone Vintage Action Pack. And you can do so by clicking this drop down menu, clicking Load Actions, and then selecting your Retro Tone file. After you've imported it, you can see that there's 20 presets. They're both full color and monochromatic. And each one gives a unique texture and color effect to it. So I just recommend uh, trying all of these out on your image and then see which one you think looks best. I've already done this and I think this vintage magazine halftone full color effect looks great on this image. So all you need to do to use it is click the image that you want to affect and then click the preset and then click play. And as you can see the tool has done all the work for us. You can see that there's this detailed halftone effect down here and it also has automatically changed the colors to have this cool vintage effect. But these are just presets so they're all going to look different depending on what your original image is. So I'm going to show you a couple tricks to fully customize it to get it to the way you want it to look. So first I'm going to go to my adjustments panel and then click levels and then click this button here and this is going to make it a clipping mask so it only affects the image below and then by pulling in these handles you can change the blacks the midtones and the light colors so we can make the blacks a little bit darker and then if we want to show a little bit more detail we can make the midtones a little bit brighter and you can also change the highlights as well but I think that looks good the way it is. And then next, you want to go back to your adjustments panel, and then you can add a hue and saturation, and then make that clipping mask. And this will allow you to change the brightness and the saturation even further. So if you want, if you think the colors look too saturated, you can pull back this, and it makes it more black and white. And we just want to have that subtle effect, so maybe I'll bring this down to like, and negative five. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You can get a bunch of really cool effects with just a couple clicks and a few adjustments. And if you try out the other presets, there's just a ton of other vintage looks that you can get. And to finish up the graphic, we can just add in that Rodman signature. I just got it off the internet and you can just drag that in and place it. And if you want to customize it even further, you can add a grunge texture on top of it. And you can do that by selecting all the layers and adding that to a group. Then you want to click this button down here to add a layer mask. And for this part, I'm going to be using my vintage t-shirt texture pack that I have available in my store, but you can use any grunge texture that you have. So you just want to get that texture. I'm going to be using this vertical cracks and grunge and open that in Photoshop. And this is what it looks like. And what you want is you want your texture to have a white background with the grunge and cracks in black or gray. Then you wanna click Control A or Command A if you're on Mac and select everything. And then you can click or hit Control C or Command C to copy then hop back over to your original document. And then you wanna to go to your layer mask thumbnail. And then you wanna alt click 
if you're on Windows or option click if you're on Mac. And that'll allow you to edit the layer mask here. So and then you can just hit Control V to paste and that will paste your texture in. And then you can just click this layer again just to deselect it. And as you can see that that texture is affecting that graphic. And if you hide your black background, you can see that the image is now transparent or the texture is affecting the transparency of your graphic. So then you can just export this as a transparent PNG and then this is good to go for like DTG printing. And that's how you make your very own vintage style t-shirt design in Photoshop using Retrotone. And if you're interested in other tools and assets to make vintage style t-shirts, be sure to check out my vintage t-shirt design toolkit. It's a bundle of all my most popular products including Retrotone, over 150 one-click text effects, texture packs, mock-ups, and more, and it pretty much has everything you need to get you started making vintage style t-shirts. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate the support, and thanks for watching.